So it's finally happened. Google yesterday announced their broad core update for 2021 has started rolling out. So what does that mean to you? What have I done in preparation for it? Let's find out. Let's get into this. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel again. First of all, remember at the end of this video, I will be doing another channel shout out, another YouTube channel shout out within the blogging space that I think you might be interested in. So stay tuned to the end. So yesterday at around seven o'clock uh, British time, I got inundated with text messages, tweets, YouTube messages, everything, saying that the broad core update that we we're all expecting in May, which Google then put off till June, has actually started rolling out. So I quickly jumped on Twitter and went to the Google Liaison page where all their tweets about core updates and any big changes, anything Google related is posted. And sure enough, there it was, a tweet saying that the rollout, which they call the June core update for 2021, very catchy name, I know, we call it the core web vitals update. Everybody has been expecting this core update. Everybody knew it was coming, but we thought it was going to be in May. But it looks like Google was having a few issues because they released a tweet many months ago now saying that it was going to be put off until June. Well, it didn't take them very long, did it? June the 1st, they rolled it out. However, it looks like they are still having a few issues which seems crazy to me that they're going to roll this out when it's not actually finished. In fact, they released another tweet saying the broad core update isn't actually finished. They've not actually finished writing the actual update itself. So they're going to be releasing another one in July. So what it looks like at the moment, it has started now. A general core update normally takes between 7 and 14 days to complete. And then there will be another one in July. And again, I expect that to take 7 to 14 days to complete. So one now for the next 14 days and another one then to finish it off in July. What's really interesting about the tweet and the Twitter page over at uh, Google Liaison is that they then released another one shortly after warning people about the drops and the gains that you could see from either of the rollouts. So what they said is that don't be surprised if you see any large gains or any large drops in this first core update because they could be reversed in the second core update. Now that is very common. Over the last four or five updates I've seen, I've either seen some dramatic increases or decreases and then fingers crossed if it's an increase it stays throughout the entire rollout. So come the end of July, if then increases are sticking, then you're good to go. You're okay, you've seen some positive outcome from the core update. However, sometimes if you've seen a negative drop off, let's say in the first one here in June, then hopefully in July, you see a reversal of that and you start to gain back some of that traffic that you lost. Now, why does this happen? It's because the algorithm they're releasing, the core update that they're releasing, has to figure things out. It plays around, it evaluates, it assesses, it swaps and changes things, and it's like a roller coaster. So literally for the next two months, we're gonna see some dramatic changes up, down, level, who knows. But certainly don't take your initial reactions to heart. So whatever happens in the next two weeks, don't panic or don't start celebrating because that could easily be reversed in the July one. At the end of July, I think you'll be safer to look at your analytics and whatever you're at at that point, that's where I think you're going to be, whether that be a good outcome or a negative outcome. So if you're a blogger like me, you've probably been preparing for this and I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've done. A lot of people have been asking, how have you prepared for this broad core update? Well, across the majority of my sites, I've not really been doing much at all. I've already got pretty lean sites which means I've got very few plugins. I don't have any page builders on there. I've got some super fast hosting. I don't overcrowd my pages with tons and tons of videos and images and flashing twirly things. Literally, it is just answering questions in a really nice, simple format. If you keep your website clean and light and have a really uh, effective theme on your site, a really light theme that's not gonna slow your website down, I think you'll be good to go. 
Now, the only site I have been experiment with is a site that I've got on with Ezoic. Now, Ezoic give me early access to their Leap tool, which is a tool that you can use to help optimize the performance of your website and fix any issues that may affect your Core Web Vitals scores. Now, all I did was simply take off Elementor. I was using that to build some of the pages. And I, when I look back, I don't even know why, because they were just information pages anyway. So I just stripped Elementor off, put it back to plain Gutenberg posts and left it. Now, Leap takes around 28 days, I think it's 28 to 30 days to actually cycle the information and then before you see any improvements. So I made some changes and I've left it and you can see now from the screenshot some of the improvements that I've seen. Instantly, my Core Web Vital scores have gone either green or amber which I'm pretty happy with. It's getting an A rating on GT Metrics, and it seems to be on the increase. You can see the graph there is just going up. So with that type of level of performance, I'm not worried at all about that website. That was the one, it's my high ticket item website. That was the one that displays ads. It was a little clunky, it had a poor theme on there. It had lots of plugins, it had Elementor. So that was the one that I was most concerned about. So I've stripped everything out and I've left it as clean and as simple as possible. Now, have I seen any improvements overnight? Well, yeah, I actually have. Not dramatically, again, let's like say don't panic, don't take this to heart, but um, my website went up about 30%. In fact, two of my websites so far have gone up around 30%. I've not seen any drops off yet, who knows, I'm expecting them, but like I say, don't panic. With two months of this roller coaster right now, so just bear it out, sit, wait. There's nothing you can do now. If you've not tackled your site speed performance, then it's kind of too late now to see the results. You can change it, obviously, you can get to work, you can start improving your website, but you're not going to be able to react quick enough to see any reaction in this broad core update. So as always, I will bring you the news. I will let you know I'm just about to post my income report for May 2021. And spoiler alert, it was my biggest month ever. I think it's the biggest month of my life. I have never earned the sort of money I'm going to show you in this income report. So, you know, through all the trials and tribulations, everything that's going on, I'm still managing to build this online business and grow it. So Stick with me for that. You want to see that income report. It's going to be a fun one. So over to my YouTube channel shout out for this week. And it's going to be White Hat Blogging. Josh on YouTube has a great channel. Josh is a friend of mine and I found his website through Project 24, which is the income school program. Josh was doing a lot of videos on the Akabado theme to help people optimize it the best they can. And he got kind of famous for doing that. And that's how I found Josh. And then since then, he's gone on to release some case studies and show you how to optimize, particularly Ezoic. If anybody ever asks me, how do I optimize my Ezoic ads? How do I get the most money out of them? I send them to Josh's channel. He's got a few videos on there about ad placements which is perfect. So go check him out. It's Josh over at White Hat Blogging. So that's it for today. I'm going to get back to editing my income report. That will be up in the next couple of days. And like I say, do not panic about the Core Web Vitals update. Sit back, wait it out. Don't react. Don't overreact. Don't do any knee-jerk reactions and change things. Do some steady improvements. Constantly strive to improve the performance of your website for sure. But for now, sit it out, wait, see what the end of July brings, and fingers crossed we see some gains. But thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video, which is May's Income Report. Thanks a lot. See you later.